Now that the 2021 MPB regular season has come to an end, let's rank the top 10 pitchers in Japan this year. To keep things consistent, we're only going to do traditional starters for this video, so no relievers. We'll be using ERA as the main benchmark, but WHIP, FIP, strikeout rate, walk rate, quality start percentage, and innings pitched all will be taken into account. And no, wins and losses will not affect the rankings, but do keep in mind that it is still one of the most important stats in Japan. Of course, I'll try to be as objective as possible, but a lot of this is just my opinion. No Roki Sasaki, Yasunobu Okugawa, or Haruto Takahashi on this list. Their numbers certainly weren't being on the top 10, but they just didn't have the workload. So let's get started at number 10 with Takahiro Norimoto of the Rakuten Eagles. At 30 years old, Norimoto isn't quite what he used to be back when he won 5 consecutive strikeout titles from 2014 to 18, but he's still an elite strikeout pitcher, finishing 2nd in the league with 152 punchouts in 144 and 2 thirds innings, good for a 26% strikeout rate with great command, only walking 35 batters or a 6% walk rate. He did have a slight home run problem, but with a 3.17 ERA, 1.09 whip, and 3.42 FIP, and an 11-5 record, Norimoto is still one of the best in the business. Coming in at number 9, we've got Koyo Aoyagi of the Hanshin Tigers. Aoyagi entered the Olympic break with a sub-2 ERA, but came back down to earth a little bit and finished the year with a 2.48 ERA as well as a whip at 1.22 and a FIP at 3.53 and 156.1 innings. He doesn't generate many swings and misses, so the regression was to be expected, but that doesn't change the fact that he was one of, if not the best, ground ball pitcher in all of Japan, with a 13-6 record and a 72% quality start percentage. Aoyagi isn't going to blow any hitters away, but with a career ERA of 3.04, he definitely knows how to pitch effectively and keep his team in the game. For the number 8 spot, it's Masato Moreshita of the Hiroshima Carp. After posting a 1.91 ERA en route to the Rookie of the Year award in 2020, big things were expected out of the young 23-year-old ace, but he ran into a bit of a sophomore slump in the middle of the year and finished with a 2.98 ERA, 1.20 whip, and 3.73 FIP in 163 and a third innings of work. His strikeout rate also dropped dramatically from 25.6% last year to 19.6% this year. That being said, his walk and home run rates were still pretty much on par with his rookie campaign, and he was starting to show signs of his former self again late in the year. There was definitely some regression, so he'll have to be at number 8 on the list, but he was still second in the league in innings pitched, third in the league in strikeouts, and had a fantastic 79% quality start percentage. He also won the gold medal game for Samurai Japan. At number 7, it's going to be Yudai Ono of the Chunichi Dragons. The reigning Sawamura award winner wasn't quite what he was last year when he posted a 1.82 ERA, but he was still one of the best in the league this season with a 2.95 ERA, 1.03 whip, and 3.13 FIP in 143 and a third innings. He posted a quality start in 72.7% .7 of his games, and he was 4th in the league with 118 punchouts. Thanks to his impeccable command, he was also 1st in the Central League among qualified starters in strikeout to walk ratio. Coming in at number 6, we've got rookie Hiromi Ito of the Nippon Ham Fighters. At just 23 years old, Ito quickly established himself as one of the best arms in Japan, finishing the year with a 2.90 ERA, 1.22 whip, and 3.09 FIP in 146 innings. 74% of his starts were quality, and he finished 3rd in the league with 141 punchouts, good for 8.7 Ks per 9 or a 23.1% K rate. He has slight command issues at times, but if he manages to limit the walks a little bit, he should climb up even higher on the list next year. Next up at number 5, it's Ito's teammate Naoyuki Uwasawa. The 27-year-old has quietly been one of the best pitchers in Japan for a number of years now, posting an ERA in the low to mid threes in all but one year going back to 2014. But he just got to another level this year with a 12-6 record, 2.81 ERA, 1.04 whip, and a 3.04 FIP in 160 in a third innings with 7.6 strikeouts per 9 innings and a quality start percentage at 87.5. His home run prevention has always been superb, but he really was among the best in Japan at keeping the ball in the park this year, only surrendering 0.4 homers per 9 innings. 
Uwasawa may not be the flashiest pitcher out there, but he consistently gets the job done and absolutely deserves the recognition. At the number 4 spot, it's Oryx Buffalo's southpaw Hiroya Miyagi. Despite being overshadowed by Yamamoto, the 19-year-old's rookie season was truly incredible. He went 13-4 with a 2.51 ERA, 1.07 whip, and 3.09 FIP in 147 frames. His quality start percentage is a bit on the lower end at 65.2%, and he did struggle a little bit late in the year, but Miyagi still finished second in the league in ERA and had 8.0 strikeouts per 9 innings against only 2.4 walks and 0.6 homers per 9. The sky is the limit for this kid, let's see where it takes him next year. Next up at number 3, it's Nick Martinez of the SoftBank Hawks. After a solid debut season with the Fighters back in 2018, Martinez missed all of 2019, and he really struggled in the shortened 2020 season, so the Hawks weren't really sure what they were getting when they signed the 30-year-old as a replacement for Matt Moore this past offseason, but he has exceeded expectations and then some. In 140 and two-thirds innings, Martinez managed a 1.60 ERA, 1.04 whip, and a 2.63 FIP. He wasn't really known as a strikeout pitcher to this point, but it seems like he's completely rediscovered himself, and that's going to make him a desired commodity among MLB teams this offseason. Perhaps most impressive of all, though, was his 95% quality start percentage. That's right, he had a quality start in 19 out of 20 starts. Had he not missed the first month of the year, he may very well be at number 2. But instead, it's going to be Yuya Yanagi of the Chunichi Dragons at the number 2 spot. Yanagi was always a very good pitcher, but here in his age 27 season, he has come out of absolutely nowhere to become a true ace. In a league best 172 innings pitched, Yanagi posted a 2.20 ERA, 1.01 whip, and 2.75 FIP with 76.9% of his starts being quality. He had an excellent strikeout rate of 24.9%, leading the league in strikeouts by a huge margin with 168. He fell just a couple wins shy of the Triple Crown, but he was such a workhorse all year long, even tossing two complete game shutouts, and there's no doubt that his stock has just skyrocketed this year to an elite caliber pitcher. Before getting to the number one position, honorable mentions go out to Tomoyuki Sagano, Masashi Ito, Daichi Osera, Masahiro Tanaka, Shota Imanaga, and Takumi Akiyama, among many others. They all had great years, but there's just not enough room on this list to include all of them. And that takes us to the number one spot. Who else but Yoshinobu Yamamoto of the Oryx Buffaloes. Yamamoto is the ace of Japan at this point, and is not particularly close. He was already amazing coming into the year, but he's really distanced himself from the rest of the pack with an absolutely historic season. In 193 and two-thirds innings pitched, which is already insane in just 26 starts, Yamamoto went 18 and 5 with a 1.39 ERA, 0.85 whip, and a 2.10 FIP with 206 strikeouts en route to the Triple Crown. He had 54 more strikeouts than the next closest pitcher in the Pacific League, and he also threw 20 more innings than the next closest pitcher. Of course, his strikeout and walk ratios are absolutely elite, with a 28% strikeout rate against the minuscule 5.4% walk rate, and he only gave up 7 homers all year. Not only that, but Yamamoto also threw 6 complete games including 4 shutouts, had a quality start percentage of 88%, and finished the year on a 17-game undefeated streak. Oh, and just a few days before the recording of this video, he threw another complete game shutout in his first career playoff game. Yamamoto is just a swing and miss machine, and his 2021 campaign will go down as one of the greatest of all time. We haven't seen dominance like this since Yu Darvish and Masahiro Tanaka were in their primes. Well, that just about does it. It's exciting to have so much pitching talent, especially young pitching talent, and MPB right now. Let me know if you agree with this top 10, and if not, comment your list below. Special thanks to my patrons, Isaac Santos, Chris J, Skyler, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Pang, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Yua Bird, Ryan Fox, and Jeff W. If you'd like to become a patron yourself, please check out patreon.com slash baseballcosmo. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more MPB content in English.